Today on The Garage Engineer, we build an organizer to clean up this mess. So let's see what I've collected over the years. We got an empty Moe's container. Welcome to Moe's. This is for like emergency water carrying uh, if I ever am stranded somewhere. Jump box with a uh, compressor. I got a blanket if I got to change a tire. It is. It used to be winter, now it's spring, but we got a blanket for warmth. Uh, jacket. First aid kit. Radiator. Coolant. Tissues. Oh, we got a flag that needs to be retired. I'm looking for a place to retire it. We've got some hold down straps. And this is a bunny suit to uh, more than something nice and I need to change a tire. It's a coverall suit. We got some water and some bungee straps and a light. The rest of it's just trash. So it's probably a pretty good idea that we are getting rid of it. And this is my uh, favorite toolbox. I, my parents gave this to me when I was probably six years old and I still have it. It carries pretty much everything I need for an emergency uh, or if we needed to fix something uh, on the go. It's all in here. Maybe one day we'll go through that and kind of see what's in this box and maybe compare it to what you guys carry in your vehicle too. So it's always good to share that type of information. So now we got this cleared out, let's get it filled back up.
I think we're at a point now that we just need to take everything apart and get it ready for stain. So when I was creating the design, uh, I put in the depth of the box to be in consideration. Uh, this box right now is 27 inches deep, and I didn't want to go with the full depth of the box because one, the drawers would be super long, and you wouldn't be able to reach it, and it would just be kind of wasteful. But I also wanted to put the toolbox in the back behind it, so this gives plenty of room to uh, kind of double storage. All right, let's give this a test now. So one, we got our large storage container box here. That works. And then we got our two smaller pull-out drawers for the smaller items. And those work great. These, the reason I picked these latches is because they are locking. So when I'm driving, the drawers aren't gonna be bouncing open. And this door latches also, so. Uh, if you're interested in any of these items that I've used, the, uh, a link to them will be uh, found in the description uh, of the video below. So let's get this loaded up. So as winter transitions into spring, I think it was time we needed to cull out some of the items anyway, so this was a probably a good transition. But now, instead of having just a uh, basket in the vehicle, I have this beautiful uh, piece that I, I'm really proud of. But also I gain space too up top here, so now that if I'm getting groceries, I can uh, put the bags on top and to the side, rather than just having one section behind me uh, to, for storage. 
So we've opened up spacing, organized a little bit, and we put a little style into it also. So remember the ABCs of making, always be creating. Till next time. Here's a little bonus content for you. I picked up some of these D-rings. Um, what I want to use for this is to put these rings onto the side of the box. That way I can run a bungee cord from front to back that if I have anything that uh, is top heavy, I can just secure it to the box. Uh, sometimes I carry uh, gas cans when I go get gas for uh, the lawnmower. Uh, so anything like that that could have potential of tipping over that I wanted to be secure, uh, we'll have those uh, tie down uh, D-rings. So let's get started.